family, everybody gets very worried and um, because I've got children myself I can put myself in the parents' uh, shoes and I can see how it's a very scary diagnosis. I felt really depressed and really sad because I feel like I'm going to have like injections like my little brother have and it will be so freaky and I really felt angry at the same time because I, 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 I'm thinking to my I thought that it's going to be really hard for me. It's going to be so different as my brother, and I'm going to have, and I'm going to have something really worse than my brother had. When, when my mom died I was in the hospital. Uh, when, my, my, when my brother knew that was in the, in the hospital, that was very shocked. It made me feel really sad because. I didn't want to inject myself and I was a bit scared of needles and I still am. But, but I knew, but I, then after I realised when they started training me then I realised, then I realised that it wasn't, it wasn't that dangerous. It was, you just had to, to get your injection put in the where, in the place that your mum and dad wanted you to put it or your doctor. I, it was okay for me. I didn't mind because I, at first I didn't know what it was. Um, once everything is um, under control, it's a very nice feeling seeing the children back to normal and smiling and being themselves. It was calm. <laughs> Just use this to inject. Um, so you press that, 
and then you can um, put in how uh, what your level is so how much uh, blood sugar what your blood sugar is and then you put in how many grams of carbohydrate you're having and it works out how much insulin you're going to um, you're going to need you you put in your you put in your carb ratios and it works it out do you need to use an injection no and there's and there's another thing and um, that so you um, there's another thing that you can get that connects to the pump so then you don't have to think of it because it says what your level is like now I'm 10.4 you only have to finger prick once every 12 hours Some of my friends say you, you are not allowed to eat sugar if you have diabetes but you're actually allowed to eat as much sugar as you normally have sometimes even have more when you're left It does help, you know, when you have other people with diabetes who have diabetes longer than me, sometimes they like give me some tips. Wash your hands before testing. Test your blood regularly before and after meals. Don't feel like you cannot have some types of foods, just have them in moderation and with insulin. Ensure you rotate injection site. You can exercise just like everybody else. Always inject before meals. Always carry glucose with you with you to treat hypos. Know your carb ratios. The two best friends didn't want to play with their friends Why because you... they thought diabetes was contagious. Why are you not playing with us? We think diabetes was contagious. It's the not... two girls started to cry. <laughs> it's not contagious. You can't catch it. It's not like a cough and a cold. Oh, that's why we weren't playing with you. Oh. So let's be friends. The two girls were friends in it. They lived happily ever after the end. Next. If, if you are diagnosed by diabetes, do not be afraid. It's not unlucky, it just happens. It's like nothing to do with you doing it, but it just happens. Live your life. Just live your life like it used to be. You will have to you will have to get injections. I know that, that is kind of hard. But once you have it about like a week or two, you, you will be used to it and you will have no fear. It doesn't like it doesn't take over your whole life. It doesn't change your life at all and that you should just get on with everything you want to do.
Wait, 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 wait. Try again. Try again. I didn't get it. Go in it. Don't be scared. You will get fired. 